Risotto is a creamy, dreamy dish that is kind of like the grown-up rice version of mac and cheese. It may seem like an intimidating restaurant style dish, but in reality it is super simple to make and you can have it on the table in under an hour. A heavy enamel coated Dutch oven is the perfect cooking vessel for this dish. You want something that conducts the heat evenly so that it prevents scorching and sticking on the bottom. Make sure you're not using a regular cast iron Dutch oven as the acidity from the wine in this dish can actually cause a reaction that would discolor your risotto. Early in the cooking process, you add your rice to your onions and saute it for a couple of minutes. This adds a toasted nutty flavor to the dish. You really wanna make sure that you don't skip this step. The creaminess in this dish comes from the slow release of starch from the arboreal rice. To do this, you slowly add your broth a little at a time, stirring often while it's cooking to really draw it out. Make sure you warm your broth up ahead of time. This ensures that those starches won't congeal while they're cooking from the cold broth, and it helps you get dinner on the table a little more quickly. Risotto is a dish that is best enjoyed fresh and hot right off the stove. You don't want to have it sit around because then the starches will set and congeal. That said, if you end up with leftovers, you could warm them up with a little bit more broth and they will still be delicious. Most risotto recipes include butter and cheese, like this one. I love that, but if it's not your thing, you can easily swap out the ingredients. You could use a plant-based butter, a plant-based cheese, you could use vegetable broth, or you can just skip the butter and cheese altogether and add something else to give your dish flavor like miso paste or tahini. I really hope this inspires you to give risotto a try. It's one of my favorite dishes and I really think you're gonna love it.